And joining us now is the guy who's starting game one for the Astros tomorrow. It's Justin Verlander. Justin, it's Kevin Burkhardt. And I remember a couple months ago, you told me that when you came to spring training, this team was hungry right from the get-go. But describe the clubhouse culture that allows you guys to actually win more games this year than you did last year, which is, I mean, quite the accomplishment. Let's face it here. Yeah, you know, like I said earlier, these guys are just hungry. If I would have come into this clubhouse in spring training not having been part of the World Series atmosphere last year and not having won it, I, I could have sworn that these guys had just lost it and were that hungry to win one. Uh, it, it's really incredible. It's a testament to these guys and how hard they work and how hard they want the they want the glory, man. They're not afraid to say that. It's uh, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun being part of this atmosphere and and honestly, it's like they pass the baton. Nobody cares who the hero is on any given night. They just want somebody to be the hero. We want to win. JV, Alex here. Um, quick question here for you. In 2006, we faced you in the ALDS when you came into Yankee Stadium and threw a gem. <laughs> what I remember back then was a fastball, curveball guy. Today, you're more of a four-pitch, sometimes five-pitch mix, and you're a lot more democratic in your approach. Describe to us what's been the biggest difference besides just, obviously, the, the many pitches you're throwing. Uh, I mean, just having to figure it out over time. You know, like, uh, uh, back then, it was... You know, kind of just grip it and rip it and, and, and see what happened. Uh, obviously, as we get older, we need to adjust. And I had to keep keep guys off my stuff in different ways. And honestly, when I got uh, when I went through a couple injuries and my velo was down, uh, I, having to implement that slider, something that looked more like my fastball, even a little bit of a cutter, something that looked more like my fastball out of hand that uh, that guys had to react to and and, uh, and make a decision a little bit quicker. Uh, it, it, that really kind of saved me for those couple years. So and obviously. Getting healthy again, I want to keep that that same mentality and, and use that as one of my weapons. JB, what's up, brother? Big <laughs> Poppy right here. <laughs> hey, How's look, going, man. <laughs> I know you're going to be a daddy pretty soon. But you have been a daddy of the American <laughs> League for a while, bro. Just looking at the result, I mean, I was watching you pitch the other day. Nobody can touch you. Uh, when you feel that way, tell me about your confidence level going into the playoff and pitching at that level in the playoff. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, you got to stay confident. You got to, you got to stay high on yourself. Honestly, if you don't believe in yourself, who will? But uh, I mean, it's also you kind of ride that line. Also, when you're out there, you know that the game can swing on any pitch, any given time. So, uh, yeah, you're you're confident in yourself, and you're kind of like feeling like you can locate and execute pitches. But at the same time, you're very aware of uh, of the momentum of the game, and you're just trying to stay in there. And and uh, really, if you put yourself in a high leverage situation, if your if your team has the momentum, you're just trying to stay on the throttle. That's what's up. Uh, hey, and by the way, if you haven't found a name for the baby, come and talk to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> JV is Frank okay. Thomas talking to you, buddy. Talk about it off air. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of doubters out there this year, JV, about repeating. And uh, it's so hard to do in this game. Mm -hmm. Has this team become obsessed to repeat, or are they just, hey, taking it as it comes? I, I think take it as it comes, but we're not afraid to say that we want to repeat. Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, these guys, man, they're, they're not cocky. They're confident. Uh, we know we have a great ball club. Uh, we know we have a great test in front of us this, this next series and hopefully the one after that. Um, but, I mean, ever since day one, uh, these guys were not afraid to say we want to go back to back. Uh, we have the talent to do so. We got the team to do it. We want to be special. We want to be one of the best of all time. Hey, JV, uh, Alex Rodriguez here again. Um, Big Poppy has just offered... If you and Kate need a babysitter, he's making himself available to you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bobby. I got you, baby. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, JV. Oh, Perfect. my goodness. Justin Thanks, Verlander, we appreciate it as always, my man. Uh, best right, of guys. luck and in, in good luck in game one of the entire series. All right. Always fun talking to you guys. Thanks for having me. All right. Good.